Hello, this is Steve Powers. I want to go over a small image editing program called XInView. It's an open source, free editing tool that you can find, uh, or rather will work, on Linux, Windows, and Mac. Um, today I'm using uh, the Windows uh, variant. And um, though it does more than I use it for, um, it is a very powerful little program and it also, and I call it little because it doesn't use uh, much for resources at all. So I am not going to cover exactly what it, you can do with it because you can do a lot more than what I use it for. But what I am going to cover today is how I use it. And ra basically I use it as uh, to browse all the multiple um, folders of images I have and try and to organize. But I also use it um, as a simple um, editing tool where I uh, will scan in a sheet of um, thumbnail sketches and uh, uh, save out the ones I like. And I'll show you how to do that as well. But right now what I'm looking at is w uh, one folder out of many. This is a, one of my uh, project folders. And uh, you can see I have some uh, individual sketches and some um, course some albums already created, um, what have you. Um, but if I click on one, oops, if I click on this, it will open it here, um, which I can, of course, then close out if need be. But it will open up a small thumbnail right here as well. It was just a little slow on that first one. And I can see these things. Um, of course, then I can close out the individual ones. So I can also have the tabs up top uh, of what I want to uh, look at or what I have looked at. Um, I can also run multiple instances of this program as well. So if you're working on multiple projects um, in different folders, you don't have to jump all over the place. But um, to what I uh, do quite often is I work in thumbnails and I will um, end up with a sheet of uh, some uh, sketches I like, thumbnails I like, and some I don't. So if I open one up, and this is where it uh, comes in handy, if I do want to keep something, all I have to do is I am uh, left clicking or holding down the left uh, button on my mouse and just dragging. Once I do this, I can go up to the crop tool and crop it. And if I hit Control say, uh, Shift S, I can save it out as its own. Uh, image um, and then I can organize my uh, images as well. Of course control Z will bring it back to the original state and uh, primarily that is one of the best functions for it. It also do has a, a nice little uh, print function so I could do the same thing over here. See what I like and if I want to just print this I can print it. Here, hold on a second. Let me crop it first. Control P will bring up um, what basically what this is and this will scale it to fit whatever paper size which is the letter, letter size of normal but if I hit custom um, you can see how it is um, it will print out basically the original size that it is on that on uh, the paper that I have loaded oh actually I have an 8 by 10 in here again bring it back to the original and um, it is very quick, very fast. Um, I like it because I can also browse through whatever is in um, the folder that I'm working on. Of course I can go back here and um, just move around but you can see how it opened up two, in two different images. So I can tab back and forth which is nice. And go back to the main browse folder. So um, basically that's primarily what I like to do with it. I can also say use it as a quick image um, uh, editing tool in the sense that I can save it out as a JPEG so I can convert from uh, bitmap uh, to a JPEG or a PNG to you know something smaller more portable um, especially when we're talking um, if it's just a thumbnail sketch it doesn't have to be um, high def because there's really not that much information there. And um, same with, uh, I can also do uh, batch editing too. So it does have a lot of batch tools. So 
I suggest um, you uh, go uh, give, give it a try. Like I said, it is free. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But it uh, is great addition to uh, using it with Corel Painter or even Photoshop. So um, I will leave the link uh, at the bottom of um, the description. And I uh, hope you enjoy it and have a good time. See you next time. Thank you.